Next up, we're going to be talking about techniques with widow mines. There's a couple of things to remember about widow mines in particular. They always need to be set up before the battle, and they can do lots of damage to your own units. It takes three banelings to kill any number of widow mines, so keep them split into clumps of two. And furthermore, this next example is going to show how much damage widow mines can do to both friendly and foe units alike. You really want to have some room to retreat with Widow Mines as they cannot kill themselves, but they can kill any other units. This is going to be a perfect pre-split for the Terran, and this is way idealistic. It's not going to happen in a real game. But if you even have a perfect pre-split, just take a look at what the Widow Mines can do. L literally takes out over half of the Terran army with a perfect pre-split. Now the Terran does win, but take a look at this other example where uh, several marines are positioned a little bit forward just like we saw in a previous technique in this video and then the other Terran units are set up to a hotkey uh, and literally just pulled back. The first set of marines absorbs most of the Widowman shots with a second series of Widowman shots taking out the back marine ranks but we can do better than this. Here, we are going to show several Widow Mines just getting in position, and then we're gonna have a slightly larger, this time five, group of Marines to hold the entire Zerg army in position. Before, a lot of the Zerg units were not able to get in position, so they ran behind to deal with the other units. This time, they have a much bigger surface area, and you can see the total difference. That is a huge number of Marines left over. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Wait, can I do this for real? What? <laughs> Safety platform. I didn't know I could mic all the way back here. <laughs> oh, this is so unfair. Oh, they still take forever to kill. Boom.